Hello and welcome to the first episode of Nana's Book Club. The book we're going to be reading today is called Grandma's Kisses. It's by Laura Nutzling and illustrated by C. Briscoe. Grandma's hugs are full of love, although a wee bit tight. She wraps her arms around me, squeezing me with all her might. Hug, hug, hug. I love a grandma hug. Grandma time is just so great. She loves to share her things. She lets me wear her nicest hat and pushes when I swing. It's a zebra. Grandma's games bring me, grandma's game Grandma's games bring many smiles. My favorites hide and seek. Every time she finds me, she gives a happy squeak. These are mice. Grandma's laugh is big and loud, and when we joke and play, making lots of silly faces, we could laugh all day. Giggle, giggle, I love a grandma giggle. And they're puppy, Dalmatian puppies. Grandma's flowers grow so bright, pink, yellow, red, and blue. I pick the ones that she likes best, and I tell her, I love you. A kangaroo. Grandma's lap is safe and warm, rocking as we read the stories from her Bible of God's great love for me. It's bears, and they're reading a book like this. Grandma's cookies taste so good, soft and warm and yummy. No one bakes like Grandma does. I want them in my tummy. Cookie, cookie, cookie. I love a Grandma cookie. And they're bunnies. Grandma's eyes sparkle and shine as we gaze at stars and trees. It's good to know in the big world she's looking out for me. And they're owls. Grandma's prayers are strong and sweet while tucking me in tight. God, please watch my little one and keep him through the night. Little sheep. Grandma's kisses on my face could not be any bigger. But I don't mind, I just know I'm happy when I'm with her. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I love a grandma kiss. They're tigers. The end. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see other stories I'm gonna write. Or I'm not write, read. <laughs> um, I'm doing this um, basically because my grandson Mason is not in the area. And I don't get to see him that often, but I love reading books and it's important to read um, to kids. So I did it with my kids and I, I want to carry on that tradition. And since I can't be with him, I thought this would be a good outlet for me to be able to still read to him. Um, so if you know somebody else that would like this book um, or to hear stories um, that they can just kind of put on, not to check out, but, you know, kids like to hear things if you're in the store or, you know, somewhere, go ahead and pass it on and um, they'll get a story. Thanks. Bye.